if we can't fix it, then, then nobody here can. Right. I'm Staff Sergeant Caleb Rutherford from the A55th AMXS Rescue Squadron. I am a Aircraft Metals Technology Craftsman. I got lucky enough to, to get this. I'm, I'm really glad I did because it's, it's the best job in maintenance. We really cover a lot of ground, just being one shot, we cover a lot of ground. Yeah. And it's, it's fun, it's cool, yeah. you can't deny that. It's a good mixture for us, work-wise, as far as in-shop work versus on-aircraft work. Sometimes we have to come out to the aircraft, remove some hardware for them. We're going to pop out some bushings right now. I'm, I'm more of a flight line guy myself. It just, it really gives you the feel like, this matters what I'm doing, you know, they need me to do this right here, right now. You know, you just, you get a really good um, sense of accomplishment from doing the flight line work. In shop work, we usually would do all of our, our manufacturing and um, modifying equipment, things like that. Right now, we're working on fabricating some gun maintenance stands for weapons. The old stands, it's been a couple years, they're getting old and worn down, so they're not doing the job anymore. They need them to do maintenance. They, they TDY, they deploy with those stands, so it's important that we give them you know, proper equipment to do their job. Everybody can have a good idea, you know, even even three levels, you know, because they, they have a fresh mindset, they have a fresh way of thinking. Maybe some of us more experienced guys are a little set in our ways, set in what works, you know, most often. Sometimes it doesn't work. There's always a way to do something that you haven't thought of. And that's why it's good for us to work together because anyone's idea could be, you know, the one that fixes the issue. When, when things go south, they come to us. Keep it here, keep it in the air, and keep the mission going. What I create is, it's beautiful, it's art. It's, it's something tangible you can hold and look at and inspect. And, you know, people are in awe of some things, how I can turn out uh, apart from just a, a raw stock of metal. Hi, I'm Senior Airman Ryan Stripmatter. I'm a metals technologist, and I love creating innovation. Metals technology, that our role out here is to fabricate parts for the aircrafts using manual or CNC capabilities. Precision in our career field is very critical, uh, especially in the manufacturing of parts. Some of our tolerances for making uh, aircraft parts could be up to uh, three thousandths of an inch, which is basically the width of a sheet of paper. We can pretty much help out anybody. Uh, we're not strictly governed to flight line. We can fabricate one-off parts for different shops, even as far as making innovations to help with their procedures. They just come to us with a problem and ask for a solution, and uh, we'll sit down and we'll do measurements and some reverse engineering and come up with something that helps them out in any of their procedures. After finishing a job, even if it's just, just simple aircraft parts, it's just gratifying to know that you just made something out of nothing and saved an aircraft or helped a shop out and that will just continuously be used. So you kind of have like a forever mark on uh, impacting the mission. I love this job. I can turn anything in my head into something. You can just get extremely creative. You can really challenge yourself. It's a, it's a constant battle against yourself to make, to make everything better. My job is aircraft metals technology, and in our job we do machining and welding, and we also do hardware. Machining is where we take a stock of metal and we cut it down or fabricate it to make specific aircraft parts. Hardware can consist of screws or bolts or any type of inserts or pins. And what we do is we go on the aircraft and we might have to install them or take them out if they're stuck. The main welding we do in aircraft metal technology is TIG welding and we also do MIG welding. We weld on aircrafts and we also weld on support equipment. Any type of metal that needs to be joined together or created, we can do that here. We're kind of like the Air Force's last resort as far as maintenance. We're qualified enough to weld on these aircrafts and make them mission capable again. Aircraft metals technology is machining and welding aircraft parts, support equipment, and some aircraft equipment as well. F-15s are older aircraft. I come from B-1s. They're also older aircraft. A lot of these repairs that we're doing are on parts of the aircraft that the original manufacturers weren't intending to break down. 
And so we have to work with the engineers to come up with these repairs and then perform the repairs to, to make sure that we're able to keep flying these aircraft as long as we have. Uh, if, it's, if it's maintenance, we work with them. Uh, everyone, if they have any sort of broken part, broken tool, can bring it down to us uh, with the relevant uh, tech data information and we'll either make a new one if the one if what they bring us is beyond repair or repair whatever they bring to us. Depending on the shape of, of the tool in question, we, we have several different machines. Generally, if it's something that's perfectly round over most of the outside surfaces of it, that's going to be made on our lathe. Uh, we have both manual and CNC lathe. Uh, so depending on the complexity of the part that's being made, depends on which one that we use. Generally, if it's more complex, we're going to do it on the CNC because of the accuracy of curves that it can generate. If it's something that isn't quite as heavy duty, doesn't need to be made out of metal, can be made out of a plastic material, we also have the 3D printer to make different parts out of that as required. For the planes keep flying, we, we obviously need to do a lot of these repairs that weren't ever meant to be repaired. And because we do that, we're able to go to the different AORs that you say he's over and, and project power into those, those different areas, wherever the, they may be. We go all over Europe, into the Middle East and, and safeguard you know, US interests and NATO interests wherever they need. So metals technology is basically the fabrication shop for the Air Force. Um, we weld, grind, cut, um, design, fabricate basically anything and everything, whether it be a part for the aircraft or um, a part for a piece of ground equipment that maybe needs servicing or is busted or broke. Um, we, we fix it basically. So the metals technology shop is a pretty diverse environment. Um, we do anything from design work to the actual manufacturing of parts and components, um, which could include grinding, milling, cutting, welding. Um, we, we're kind of a one-stop shop for anything that needs manufactured, altered, or just refurbished. I work in the aircraft metals technology shop, and basically we are a fabrication shop for the Air Force. Um, I enjoy my job because I love working with my hands and it's a good bit of satisfaction seeing you know, a raw chunk of metal go to a part that actually gets put on an airplane or on a piece of support equipment. I feel like Aircraft Metals Technology Shop is a valuable asset to the Air Force because we a lot of times have to work with equipment that's extremely old and they rely heavily on us to keep support equipment functioning. Uh, if there's, you know, what cracks that or welds that crack, we re-weld those, uh, build custom pieces to, you know, supports. If there's uh, trend analysis studies that show that, you know, certain equipment fails at certain spots, we can build repair fittings for those. With the capabilities we have in our shop, I feel like it helps the wing complete the mission because if there's a time constraint on parts coming in, uh, we could locally manufacture something uh, sometimes quicker than a part could come in or if there's even any assets available anywhere else, then we could quickly make something that's useful for the airframe.